What I'm going to do next in Lab 8 is I'm going to add Challenge. I'm going to create an event that speeds up the aliens as the score increases. Then I'm going to create events that end the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Event Editor. And I'm going to do a, add a new condition. I'm going to right click New Condition. I'm going to click Special. Then I'm going to click Always. And I'm going to right click under Alien. And I'm going to click Movement Set Speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the score that's there. i will put a, a couple of parentheses. Then I click Retrieve Data from an Object. And I'm going to right click the Player 1. And click Current Value of Score. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that by 10. Put a end of parentheses. And then I'm going to multiply all that times 5. Now what this does is it increases the speed uh, by 5 for every 10 points in the score. So at the end of the text I'm going to type plus 10. And the reason we do this is that um, we want to start out at a base speed of 10. We, if you divide everything else, it will come up to 0 and nothing moves. You want to start out moving. That's why you add 10 at the end. Okay, make sure you're, you're, you look exactly like this. Score, player 1, divided by 10 times 5 plus 10. If you, um, if you click OK, and you get a red explanation, I mean a yellow explanation point. Just click OK and double check your calculation, then click OK, OK? Now what I'm going to do is test my speed and make sure this every 10 uh, aliens I kill, they, they start falling faster. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Should be a little faster. Yeah, it's a little faster. I'm going to do me a new condition. I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to right click the counter object, then compare the counter to a value. I'm going to, uh, the field is set to zero. I'm going to go OK. So now I have a counter equals zero. In the shield column, I'm going to right click the box and click destroy. Now I'm going to try this application and see, just let them hit and see if my shield gets destroyed once that counter is gone. So now I want to create an event that moves the game to the next frame when the alien collides with the earth. So I'm going to right click the new condition. And I'm going to right click the alien. Then I click collisions and then click another object. So if you don't know which one is the earth object, it looks like a bluish white line. Just click OK. And the collision between the alien and earth row and the storyboard's collar, column, right click the box and click next frame. So right here, see it looks like a horse, click next frame. There's no end frame yet, but you're going to create one later. So all we have to do is test the game and let the aliens hit the shield until it's destroyed. When an alien hits the earth, the window is going to close because there isn't a frame next to move. Then you'll add the next frame later. I'm just going to let it happen. There you go, it just ended. Now we're going to begin lab 9. We're going to make the start and end frames, and then you're going to create start and end screens. Then you're going to build so you can share your game with others. So now I'm going to double click Alien Attack in my Workspace Toolbar. Then I'm going to add two more frames.
Gonna insert, new frame, insert, new frame. Now I'm gonna rename these. I'm gonna click right click frame two. I'm gonna rename this start. I'm gonna right click frame three and I'm gonna rename that one end. Now I'm gonna move the start um, screen above the game screen, just like that. I'm gonna double click the start screen here. So I'm going to go here, see it says RGB, red, green, blue. I'm gonna change the black ground, background color to black. At the start background. I'm going to right click, align and frame, horizontal center, right click, align and frame, vertical center, right click, lock. Now I'm going to add a string object, so I go insert, new object, I come down here to text, then I click string, I click OK and just stick it anywhere for now. So I'm going to add text to string object. So in the properties toolbar, I click the check mark and where it says text, I'm going to replace that text. So what am I going to write here? Click anywhere to begin. So I just click enter. So now I'm going to click the A button here and I'm going to give me a color. I want to show up against that background. I'm going to make it pretty light. Maybe darker than that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, click Arial, and I'm going to make it bigger. Come on down, find me a um, size. Click OK. Now I'm going to make this big enough to see and put it where I want it. So I just choose one of these sizing handles here. And I find a nice place to put this. Next I'm going to create an event that starts the game when the player clicks on the start frame. So obviously I'm going to go to the event editor. Okay, I'm going to click a new condition, right click. Then I'm going to right click the mouse uh, counter and keyboard. I'm going to click the mouse and then click user clicks. So I want to make sure every left button and single click, which it is. So now I'm just going to click over here, next frame, under the horse by the checkboard. So I'm going to check my game. So now what i got to do is add a backdrop to the end frame. So I go to the end frame here, double click it. Now I'm going to um, Add the black backdrop. Click this and go click black. Now I'm going to drag the end backdrop up here. And I'm right going to right click this, align and frame, horizontal center, vertical center. Then I just lock it. Let's see, I can put some of these particles out here, make a sun if I want. Choo. Choo. It's up to you. So next one, I'm going to insert uh, um, a high score object. So I call it insert, new object, go to games, click high score, and then click OK. But you can't see it yet because it's black on black. So all I have to do is change the font and color of the high score object. So if it's not selected, I just click over here and select it. So I click my 
uh, text options and then I come down and click a color I like. I'll try white. Then maybe I'll change the uh, font and size. I'll come down here. Just something different. Engravers looks okay. And maybe 16. I'll click OK. Obviously need to make it bigger. Just click. Drag on those sizing handles until it comes out to be about what I want, which is fine. So now I'll just test the game. And there you go. It came up. What we have to do is save it. I'm going to go File, uh, Save Project. Last thing I'm going to save my build. File, Build, Application. And you're done.